Yeah, I think you can see that there. That's the Gila River. I'm gonna walk a little. See, that's a, there's actually two parts of it there, kind of split between. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try to swim across there because it's pretty, pretty good flow. There's where it uh, goes further west there. I can show you the channel here. There's a. There's some. Un, there's some. Actually, culverts down there, but they're releasing more water than. Uh, that, you know that'll it'll take a culvert. So there, uh, there's, there's actually a number of bridge crossings on the on the Gila. There's some big like sea like birds. You know the birds that uh, you don't normally see in the desert here. So I'm not quite sure why they're why they're here, but uh, that's where that's where they are. Um, see those birds are further down. There's the Estrella Mountains just south of me. And about another half mile to a mile to the base of the Estrella Mountains there. I'm gonna I don't want to be careful walking with my phone, talking with my phone because I don't. Because I'm just a few feet away from this river and it's uh, got a pretty good flow to it. If anybody's really interested, there's several, you know, as you go on into Phoenix and if you head west, there's a number of, uh, there's some bridge crossings and unbridge crossings. There's a big, massive bridge crossing about two miles west of here that, uh, like the, water, uh, like, like the boulder that goes into the Estrellas. And uh, let me show you what's, uh, I don't know what that is over there. There's normally some water in the Gila. What the, what the, the, the salt the salt runs into the Gila, and they're releasing water from the, from the upstream dams, in you know um, into the that's what what they say it's, it's flood water that they're releasing to the oh if I can it's looking toward Phoenix here but it's quite Phoenix about another 15 miles east of here uh, that's really that's quite a bit of water because so there's another one further to the south there. That's quite a bit of water, but what it is, we've had you know, the pretty, had a pretty good winter snowpack, and uh, we've got some spring rains. A few days ago, we had pretty good rains, and they're emptying the dam so that um, you know. Well, they don't want to have a mass like a 1980-type uh, 500-year flood event. And I, I was I was an adult in 1980, and uh, it man, it was a nightmare. A lot of people you know, weren't you know you know let a Alive today, weren't you know weren't you know weren't born in 1980, and they don't remember the, the 500-year flood of uh, of 1980. But uh, the traffic you know, across the unbridged unbridged crossings, there was quite a few of them throughout the valley. Tight traffic was a nightmare. Well, the traffic in general for that time was a nightmare because there was massive disruptions. But uh, they've well, the people people like Salt River Project that manage the uh, you know the magic water have gotten a lot better at figuring this. The south sun guys up there and they'll measure how much snow is up there and they'll kind of calculate how much it takes to fill the, the dam and stuff up on the salt, the verde, and the... Well, there's no dams on the Gila, but uh, it runs in the Gila, then it runs out to the... It joins the Colorado, then it runs out... Hopefully it makes it to the Pacific Ocean, but uh, the general rule, it doesn't make it to... What's that? Is? Oh, a guy pulling out there. I don't know what he's doing there. I'm going to make sure he wasn't pressing with my pickup up there, but he's not. But uh, I think, and uh, I told the story a couple times of the, the Gila River boatmen that uh, they were, you know, uh, German Kriegsmariners from, uh, you know, they were held in a camp in the East, East Valley, east of Phoenix. I, I don't know if the camp is still there or not. Sometimes I'll go in there and see if they are, but uh, the story is online. If you, want, if you type in, do a web search on Gila River boatmen, you can find a story. It's a very interesting story, but these guys, had, they walked the desert for miles and miles and finally made their way to the Gila River. and. Uh, you know, it was dry, but uh, if they if they chose the day that like today, they could have floated their way on their rafts out to the. They're gonna either hike, hike their way to Mexico or uh, go out in the, in the Pacific. I don't think they had very clear plans. I think it was just kind of a let's just try to get out and see how far we can go. And they end up out in the desert near the Dry River. But like I said, if they'd taken a river out river, boat to the river today, they could have made it wherever they ended up. Okay, bye bye.